Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Here's Ahmed Nasser. This tutorial we're going to talk about Java, graphical user interface, and I.O. read and write operation to a file with Eclipse. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can join us on Facebook. First thing we have uh, a driver, we created a class driver, we have a uh, the main driver method we just create a new GUI equal new GUI but before that we need to make a separation for the IO so we have this IO class we take a string text file file and we have file name input the text uh, for the constructor we just say file equal new file name and we just say read file when we read the file we just get the file from uh, from the on the computer we just say scanner equal new scanner for that specified file and we just read all the items inside that file and put them inside temp and after that we have text for that file so we assign the text to be equal to temp so we get all the elements inside the file and put them inside the text as you can see here after this we have other method which is gonna write file so write file is basically gonna uh, take the string data we're gonna take this string put it uh, create a new file and write this string into that file by using the writer dot print and we have other method which is gonna uh, convert this string into a string array of li uh, of lines so in the index number zero we're gonna have the first line in the index number two we're gonna have the second line and so forth so we're gonna use string split each lines and return an, an array of strings uh... we go back to driver we create a new GUI class uh... we create a new a student also student class take names id average and status and we use the constructor to set all these elements by using this name uh... the equal n and so forth we just assign all this element to the student object by using the constructor we go back to the main class here driver we create a new GUI a GUI class is uh, this GUI class but we need to add functionalities we need to add action listener we need to add events so basically the first thing you need to do here is importing Java X the swing the star and we need to extend the GFrame and implement the action listener so when you implement the action listener you gotta have uh, this method uh, over here action performed so let me just here on limit action perform method it takes action event and we just when we click a button because if you if we come here and click this button you just throw an event okay so because you throw an event you add you need to add action to this button so if you come here we created a button for example p1 we have five button so in order to add action to this button b1 you need just to come to uh, this that b1 to add action listener for this so we we need add add action listener uh, to to the b1 and we say this here and this is gonna implement this method action performed so if we go back uh, for example when we click on b1 we're gonna call the method action performed so if you go to action perform method here wait a minute okay if we go action perform we just convert who is the the the, the source object for uh, this action perform so it's known that p1 is is the load button so p1 we just search for p1 here's the b1 so we say either git source the source that throw, throws the event is b1 so we convert this if that is true we just say okay we want to create a text io equal new text io we just read the file and after reading the file we just say okay take this t uh, t take this file and take all the elem string elem uh, string um, elements inside that file and convert them into an array so we have this string s equal d to string to array we create a new list here by using l equal new array list 
and we use the split method in order to separate the items the attributes ID name by using the split method into array of string and then we take the number one for uh, for the name number zero for the ID uh, and uh, number two for the average and three for the status we say L that add we just add add this object created by the by the fly object added to the to the list of student and we have other thing here we created a start and current and last because we need to move using next uh, click here we need to move next so we need start is zero and the current object is zero and the last is the last element in the list so when you click next you gotta move the current to B plus one and so forth so by default we gotta start with zero and set the element to um, get element in number zero here get element all the elements in number zero to when you click load we just load the first element in the file so we gonna load this 1091451 so this is gonna be the first one number zero we click next we just gonna increment the element by using the next button so next button is okay let me just next button is implemented here let me just find it next button is somewhere else here um, okay okay this this is next next button we just gonna say okay this the b3 because b3 is the next button we just gonna say current plus plus we just gonna increment the current we say if current is less than last we just gonna set the text and take it from the current l did get current that id l did current did name and so forth if current is bigger than last we're just gonna say current is equal to zero we're gonna start from the beginning and we're gonna say this the text equal l the current and so forth we just continue with this process so all the time we reach the max we just say reset to the index zero and so forth um, for the main thing here about graphical user interface we created panel uh, three panels because if you back to the file here we have this uh, panel in the top, the centralized panel, and the panel in the bottom. Okay, so we need three panels. Uh, uh, we need uh, five labels, four text field, five G buttons, one combo box, and more, one array list of student. And we need a header for the array for the combo box. So we say we have freshman, we have junior and senior, and um, we have four status actually. We have a start and last and current. I showed you why we need this. We in the side of the constructor we define the combo box by giving the header the CS inside the combo box. G the, we just created the G labels. We created the buttons here. We created the text field. We give it a length of ten. Uh, we give it the G the G panels. So note see this is very important in graphical user interface. First thing we use a flow layout for the the panel number one in the top we use flow layout for the panel in the in the center in the center of the form we use grid layout so we have four rows and two columns so we use a grid with four uh, rows and two columns so that's why we have this we have a flow layout for the bottom panel we have next new add so this is gonna be flow layout so basically we just add all the elements to panel one by using this method by using this uh, procedures panel 2 we add uh, in the grid panel we just add L2 the label and the text the label and the text and the label and the text the label and the combo box okay as a matrix for the last one we just add three buttons and we add the action listener for the buttons and here this is very important because we need to centralize these panels uh, you know just locate them into the form so we just say this form that add b1 border layout to the north so that's why we have um, this this panel to the north this the the panel number two in the center so we say dot center border layout center and the last one b3 to the south okay we just say give a 
title we just say this loop back because we want to default size say visible sit re location relative to null because we need to centralize the geoframe in the middle of screen we use relative to null so this is pretty much this is the action performed for button number two and this is uh, for button number five um, for add button but, uh, this code is gonna check uh, if this element is exist or not, we're gonna say the boolean equal flag equal true. We check if this element is not exist. So if we, we we're gonna iterate for all the elements inside the list, if this equal to ID, which is the text we get we get it from the text, we're gonna say this is already exist. If not, it's remaining true. So we're gonna back here and say okay, we just add after that. We just say done. For button number four, it's the new button. We're just gonna set all the elements here to be empty, the the text field to be empty. B3, uh, we're gonna say next. I showed you what is this gonna do. We just move uh, across the list. Uh, for the uh, for the uh, either good source P1, which is the load button. I showed you what is this gonna do. Basically, um, we're gonna take the text file split it and then fill the list of items here and we're gonna initially start and the, the index for zero zero uh, current to zero and last is equal to L size but notes here when we add a new element if you go above here when we add a new element um, okay when we add a new element you need to update the last because the 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 the, the list gonna be expanded to plus one element when we add a new record so you need to update the last okay in order to keep track of uh, the next element okay so this is pretty much uh, about this tutorial uh, I will uh, put this code in github in the description below in YouTube uh, so you gotta have this code um, this is just for a fundamental for Java GUI using Eclipse. I hope this tutorial was uh, very beneficial for you. And thank, thank you guys for watching. Before I uh, be, you know, maybe in the next few days I'm gonna upload another video in Java. Uh, so until that time, don't forget to subscribe the channel, put comments, like, ask me questions, join us on Facebook, and uh, thank you very much. See you in another video.